Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I am super excited to get into this video because Darren, Mark and I are going to change my car up. We're going to get rid of brake dust completely by doing this to my C8 Corvette. But real quick before we get into it, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for pressing that play button and joining us today. Also, if you're new, if you could do me a favor and smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. We absolutely love having brand new people join the Brink of Speed community. R1 Concepts sent me their rotors and their ceramic pads to put on my brand new 23 c8 and so i'm really looking forward to this if you haven't seen the video of us doing darren's car it's a great one i'll link it up top and in the description but we're doing pretty much the same thing the only difference is is his is a z51 mine is not a z51 and he used Carbotech pads, and I'm using R1 Concept ceramic pads. This should be a little bit different of a install just because of the fact that, again, his was a Z51. But let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm gonna snap travel us to Darren's. Before the video starts, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who purchased this shirt Wednesday night and even on Thursday. We had an overwhelming, absolutely amazing response to this shirt. Everybody loved it and we were going to limit it to, I think we had 28 on the website, but because of how much you guys love this shirt, we are going to let you guys go back on the website and start buying it again. So this is a beautiful come and take it shirt with the BOS logo on there. And we're gonna put more of each of the sizes on the website. These shirts are still gonna give you 100 entries when you purchase them. And if you buy two key tags with the shirt, you're gonna get 50 more entries. And that's good until next Wednesday. So make sure if you have not entered into my big giveaway, which is wheels from Forge Light wheels for a C7 or C8, an R1 concept brake kit for a C7 or C8, ACS composite Z06 side rockers for a C8, or ACS composite rear diffuser fins for a C7. This is an either or, not both, but it is all over a $4,500 value. And this giveaway ends on April 30th of this year. So good luck everyone with the giveaway and enjoy the video. What's up, Jason? How's it going? So, uh, you know, just putting the brakes on this thing and they're a little squeaky. Yeah. So apparently yeah. They'll, they'll wear in in a couple days, but I thought since you guys are doing brakes, I'd come by and check out what you're doing. Awesome, man. Yeah. But uh, Darren asked me to stop and pick up some parts for you. Oh, all right. right. Some all right. brake parts, maybe brake cleaner? Yeah, we needed some you brake cleaner. We're in your car. Wait a minute. Well, oh, your... no way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that, that's incredible. Jason, that is unbelievable. Oh, I cannot believe Thank that. Thank you so much. How did you, my God. Ooh. <laughs> that's your car. Ah. Darren, that's you said, I'm a model builder, I love doing it. You knew he was doing this. I knew he was obviously. doing it. Helped oh, him with the uh, paint selection oh, to make sure we got the right one. So Holy. at last Corvette and coffee, he was distracting you when I'm over there with paint samples holding it up to your car. <laughs> so let's see how close it is. I mean, oh my God, wise. that's crazy. So what you're basically telling me is that I need a, a high wing now? Uh, that's the only one that yeah, he's with on this one. That's awesome. So here's the, here's the thing about this. These, they don't make a convertible. So I 3D printed that back piece Holy and cut the top you cut, 
You cut the top off? Cut the top off. And that, oh. back, that back here is three. Oh, three. my God. So, yeah, you're right. You can yeah. You can sell these to people that want no. convertibles. No. <laughs> no. I want one. No. 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 I just make me a black what one. What I will do. Oh my God. What I will do. Yeah. Is after now I was waiting until this. I will post on some of the forums. Yeah. Where you can get the STL and 3D print it and all that. But no, I'm not going to do it for sale. For one thing, I don't own the the CD the 3D print yeah. or the 3D model. Yeah. That's created by somebody else, so you you can't really sell them unless you create yeah. them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can. So you can't get, get a, a Maisto model that's an no, HTC. They no, they don't make them. <laughs> At some point, maybe. They you have a one of one. That's true. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Mike's Jason speechless. did it again. Did he already it? made the amazing Captain America model, and now he's made the new BOS 2.0 model. Thank you so much, man. You are. <laughs> God, absolutely incredible yes, i'll see you later I'm <laughs> <laughs> nice. holy cow it's what a HTC. what an amazing look at the surprise. seats everything it's exactly yeah, the same. seats oh, oh he did the seats yeah the seats and the and the seat belts the mirrors everything everything HTC. what do you guys think the, uh, give jason a huge thumbs up for creating console. that he even did the center console correct right yeah 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 Six wow. Hours. I'll put something out on the forums later today or this week. Holy cow. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jason. Wow. All right, look at this. Look at these. I love new rotors. The feel, look at that. Well, especially these rotors. Yeah, look at them. Drilled, slotted. That it's is that nice. Them, it's got the corrosion. finish on it. Yep. Finish. So we're just going to do a quick, these are brand new out of the box. Just a quick wipe down with brake cleaner just to clean any grease that may have came from the, the factory on there. Just spray them down. This is a good time to use your old rags. I love them, man. They change the look of the car Well, you gotta fill these, Jason. You're a strong guy. Oh yeah, they're Fill really out light there. Oh yeah. So yeah, 100% forged. What Lifetime warranty. 10 pounds lighter than stock wheels. 100% uh, forged. These are carbon flash if people haven't seen the previous videos. So Darren, it, don't they have a sale going on right now? Yep, at we just, he just texted me yesterday for Brink of Speed viewers. You know, he did a sale at the end of the year and I think we had 30 or 40 people take advantage of it. Yes. We're starting to see a lot of guys posting pictures of their cars. He's doing a spring special. Prices have gone up slightly, but he's bringing it back down with a special. Still doing free shipping, free lug nuts. If you tell him Brink of Speed, he'll ceramic coat them. So they'll arrive ceramic coated. And I think he's taking he'll almost- cer He'll ceramic coat them? Uh -huh. Yes. And yep. free shipping. Free shipping, yep. free lug and nuts. And free matching lug so nuts. So matching lug nuts. Yeah. So if you get black wheels, you can get black lug nuts. These are in line with all the other name brand wheels, the Vossens, the Aerial Lares, same price yeah. range. And again, you get a, a super high quality wheel. So Awesome, man. Take advantage of that. All right, so we're ready to go. We're going to loosen the caliper bolts. They are on there like uh, 160 foot-pounds. So we got a heavy-duty DeWalt, heavy-duty... Uh, uh, impact wrench. Impact wrench. And uh, we're going to... Go for it. Okay, just loosen it. Not gonna take it all the way out, right? Not yet. Yeah. Watch for the kickback on the gun. It's gonna stack. And how long that would have taken to just by hand, by hand. So that's gonna get, have it the right, uh, right tool. And then we're gonna use our box. Pull this off. Are you gonna do the? Are you going to do the pins first? No. Nope. Leaving it on? Okay. I'm no, going to do it just like we did the other side, just like this. Okay. Now the difference is we noticed on the front calipers versus the Z51 is the Z51 have a different spring uh, catch here where on the Z51 you can literally just push down your pads and they'll fall out. Where on this we have to take the pins out. I actually have to push the oh, pins okay. out. Let me go in there and maybe hold it, or... Basically pushing it out of the locking collar that's here, you can see. Yeah, it's kind of a locking collar. Because you got the spring load on it, so it makes it... Yeah, once we get that first one out, it'll be a lot easier. There you go. It loses okay. the tension on the spring. And we saw those pads just basically fell out. Wow. 
And this, these pads have 2,700 miles on them. Okay. So okay. these are the R1 Concepts Ceramic Series pads. These are what they look like right here. And these are gonna stop all brake dust pretty much. And they're gonna be paired up with uh, the R1 Concept rotors. Okay, so we're just uh, greasing up just to, so you don't have to have too much persuasion getting it in there. It'll help it slide into the yeah, just a little into bit. the slot. And we did clean them too with uh, brake cleaner too. Yeah, just before just a little bit. off camera I cleaned it. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna put a little grease on our pads. Okay. And what kind of grease is that? Mm, just your standard synthetic brake grease. Stops brake squeal. You can see that and get that anywhere. And just put it on your leading edge of your mounting. You don't put it on the brake material, obviously. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good job. Okay, hold on a second. Push this that way. Can you tap it now? Hold on. There you go. Okay, good job. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just check that out. We're not going to put it back on yet. We're just going to inspect it. We think we did everything right. Okay, so this is a, what did we say this was? T30? Yep, T30. This is all you need to take off to uh, get the rotor off. Stops it from doing this. All right. We're just going to clean the hub real quick while we got everything off. We've got three. That's true. Where's our little uh, hole? Over here. Okay, we can move. Okay. Okay, now we just need to put our caliper back on. We're good to go. Avery, thank you. We're going to put a little Loctite on there. Yeah, we got a nice little helper today. Yeah, you want to? Let's see, we'll do a little one of these. Yeah, she did practically the whole other side of the car. She did. Mm -hmm. We were just eating lunch. <laughs> Avery was doing it. Okay. There you go. You know what this does? What? It like dries and it makes the bolt hard to not come out. It like locks it in there. So these are the ones, as Mark might have said at the beginning, they're torqued at 160 pounds. They're, they're pretty... Take a little bit of effort to break them. All right, so once you get the thread started, boy, it's very tight and it's started, but it's a very tight fitting bolt. So once you get the, you think you'd be able to finger tight it, but you can't at that point, you're. Yeah, you're gonna wanna have an yeah. impact gun for yeah, this, otherwise. And you guys can see the bottom one there too in the camera. Right. So. See how easy that was with the impact gun. And then we're gonna go back. We'll use a torque wrench here in a second. We'll make sure it's torqued to 160. You guys heard it? Okay, here we go. 160 and we're done. And move on to the rear. These guys are doing a phenomenal job. Yeah, especially her. Right. She's doing all the heavy, heavy lifting for us. <laughs> now the backs are gonna be a little more difficult. We can't turn the wheel to get that torque wrench in there. So it's gonna be a lot more difficult to to, to get those those bolts off this and is, not to mention we do have to leave <laughs> yep. that as well yep which are the 15 15 millimeter bolts for the emergency brake so the caliper is pretty much identical to the front one as far as the process we're yeah. gonna push the pins out So for people that you can't see, this is basically what this spring here is doing. 
there's these little catches and it's going through there and each caliper oops sorry each caliper it's going through on each side and then obviously through the um, Pads. caliper piston itself that's how it locks it in keep right tension on it yep pretty simple but it works right and then Trivia our pads. question, first year for everybody watching, when was the first year four-wheel disc brakes on the Corvette? Good question. 64? Is that your final answer, sir? 64 was the last year of rear drums, so 65 is the first year of four-wheel disc brakes. That's why 64 sometimes don't go for as much as a 65, because you're dealing with drum brakes. So our pads, just gonna set those back. They can be a little tight because the pistons, but they'll go. Now, if you had a car with more miles, you may need to use one of the um, uh, piston separators. We have not had to use it on either, either of the cars that we've used, but it might be something you want to invest in if you're going to tackle this because you could get going and realize. If you have more miles on the car, right, it just, yeah. Remember, we haven't taken this rotor off yet. We're just packing the caliper with the... Yeah, and the reason we're doing that is when you do take off the rotor, we're not disconnecting the brake line, so we're not going to have to bleed them. But it's pretty tight. It's actually easier to take the pads out while it's on the sure. rotor. So that's why we elected to do it that way. So now you guys can kind of see the, the concept of how the pin, this spring is resting actually on the pad. pad mm -hmm. And then it's got this tension on there. And that's how it stays on. So we'll get these things started here. Oh, perfect, that's super easy. So those, I was able to literally just push those in. They found their spots. They went right in? Good. Yeah, that was way nice. easier than the other side. Perfect. That was easy. So what we realized on the other <laughs> side, the, these are, are torqued at 90 pounds on this caliper, but man, they, are, they feel tight and they're very awkward to get to. So we're gonna get a little creative here in a second. Okay. Got it, good. So like I said, they say these are a 90, but boy, they sure feel like they're 200. The whole back end of the car was up in the air. He was pushing so hard. Yeah, and unfortunately, as we've said, we were doing the other side, you can't get your impact gun in here unless someone's got a better idea than us, but it's just really tight. So this is, honestly, this is, of the project, this is the hardest thing. I mean, you'll see right here, I'm trying to break this, you'll see. It's just hard to get. There we go. Oh man. There we go. Might be the Loctite, right? I mean, we're, it you could are be. Actually, that's a very good point. Yeah. We're getting. You're trying to break the Loctite from the factory, so. So these are really easy. Yeah, just they're the, the e-brake ones are. Yeah. Hand tight almost. Yeah, these are the really long bolts. There you go. Notice factory didn't put Loctite on that either. So the reason we're bungee cording this is because we just don't want to disconnect all this and this is the easiest thing. This takes, this saves you a ton of time. Let's make sure it's in there. Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. See how it works? That's awesome. I think these two bolts here are about three quarters of the job as far as time frame. So the bolts were 18 in the back and 21 in the front. So we're gonna Oops. get out from underneath this. Well, right. let me get real simple. I'm gonna just take the caliper off. Okay. Let go. Oh, but we gotta clean the flange. Where's the? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, hold on. I just put it right on his knee. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you could bungee cord this up too, up and have it hang but I'm cleaning off his sink, just making sure it's got something good to sit on. And since there is one hole, but there seems to on the back ones, there's- No, 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 right here's the hole. This and the because right you've got- yeah, On the back one, they have multiple holes. You've got multiple holes, so it doesn't really you matter. You can't really mess it up. Now you put it on, so it's gonna match up. Avery, you wanna put that screw in there? It's a tricky little, tricky little one, isn't it, Avery? Get that started. 
once you get it started. You guys good? We are good. Okay. Look at that. Right um, in there. Short ones. So you can see how much space you have before it's even close to being tight. And look at the force he's having to tighten that way. See that? I mean, it's not even close. It's just it's still the width of my finger. So the bolts are just engineered, I guess, tight tolerances to be yeah, just tight. tight. <laughs> now the front ones weren't that bad. Now we're gonna unbungee the e-brake. Okay, we have one of the screws. You see that one? Other screw. Lined up, lined up. So much easier. <laughs> Look, I split my glove helping Darren pop that caliper bolt on. Okay. That's it, yep. So for those that are asking about the quick jack and which model we're using, this is the 6000 ELX. I think previously when we were at our friend John's house, he has the 5000. Uh, the nice thing about this 6000 ELX, it actually goes taller uh, in height. And also you'll notice as we zoom out here, it basically goes the full distance of the frame rail on the C8 Corvettes, uh, jack puck to jack puck are the jacking points where you're at. So it makes it really easy and sturdy. There's no question when you're lifting it that you're, you're on the frame rails. So. If you're in the market for the quick jack and you have a Corvette, um, this is probably the model you're going to want to get. All right, looking good, Darren and Mark. Yep. Did our workout for the day. That was the workout for sure. So yeah, having an extra set of hands for sure. Yeah, the four Two hands people. put loading the caliper up with the pads. Four hands helped, and then a fifth and a sixth hand. Yep. Exactly. So yeah, all that's left to do is we're gonna coat the calipers. We'll do that real quick. Put the wheels back on, torque them once we get it off the lift. And, and wish Mike good luck on his first brake stop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's right. All right, what are we doing here, Darren? Well, we're gonna take advantage of having your wheels off and have the car lifted. We're gonna use the product we've been using on the interior exterior. This is Underdog. This is the Marine, which is basically Underdog Pro. The reason they call it Marine, because it's a 100 milliliter bottle. As you can see, I'm almost out. I've been using this on everything, including Avery's tennis shoes. <laughs> uh, but no, this stuff works awesome. And we're gonna have Avery help us apply it here. So I'm gonna use, normally you wouldn't really use a pad like this, but I take a standard uh, microfiber, uh, like a wax pad and I cut them into quarters. It just makes it really easy in these tight spots. Right. And we're not doing a lot of coverage, so it's not a big deal, but we're just gonna put some drops on here, just like this. And I'll kind of squeeze it together to kind of charge it. And then Avery's gonna show us how easy it is. And by the way, this underdog product will be linked in the description below. And if you go to the link, you will get 15% off your order. Right, and the code so, is what? Brink of speed. Yeah, brink of People speed. People ask, yes, they're still doing, I think it's 15% off for anybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let me try. Make sure you got everything. But yeah, you literally, it's just that simple. You just go in there and just cover it all up. We'll let it sit for probably, I don't know, three or four minutes. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't want to let it sit more than two Yeah, minutes. it's a little different if you're doing it on the caliper than if you're doing yeah. it on the normal paint. But yeah, we'll still make sure it's covered good. Sure. And we'll actually even jump, we'll put a little bit more on it. We'll jump to the front caliper and we'll do that one and then we'll show how we're gonna wipe it off. So yeah, this will just make the maintenance, as you know, cleaning yeah. the wheels, it's a huge, it's, I mean, you gotta do it. Yeah. Thank you, Avery, for all your help. Just make sure we got it. Okay, I think we got it on there pretty good. And then we're just gonna jump back to the back one. Okay, so we've done all the calipers. It just took us a minute on each one. Now we're just gonna go back over and, and wipe off the underdog after it flashed on there. It's that simple, comes right off, super easy. For this, we're using just a regular microfiber cloth, like a Costco one. If I was doing the paint, then we would use, you know, those those more softer. Right. Yeah. But for calipers, it's totally fine. Yeah. And it is easy product to put on and take off. And 
We've said this in every video, but the flash times are very long on this product. With ceramic coating, you don't want to leave it longer than maybe a minute or two. But with this, you can leave it 10, 15 minutes and you're fine. All right, so we finished the R1 Concepts brake install. I want to thank Mark and Darren. They did a fantastic job, just like they did on Darren's car. <laughs> Mark, um, I car's actually, next. My car's next. All I right. actually hurt my back, so I really couldn't do much other than sure film. Sure you did, sure you did. So they did a good <laughs> job. Conveniently. Yeah, conveniently hurt his back now. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up. Also, the link to these brake pads and rotors will be linked in the description below. So make sure you check those out. You buy everything on Amazon. So it's kind of interesting. People wanna to go to the R1 Concepts website, but that's not really where you wanna purchase them. You wanna purchase them through Amazon. Right, So and reminder, chance to win these, buy a key tag. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah, as Along you guys know, wheels. Yeah. Uh, the key tags right now are going for uh, 50 entries if you buy two and 25 entries every key tag you buy after that. So you can get, you know, four of them and you got 100 entries for 40 bucks. All right. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you guys out on the road.